Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I'm going to discuss that if you are interested to do your MTech in Computer Science and Engineering branch, what you should choose. Whether you should go for MTech in General Computer Science and Engineering or you should go for some specialized, specialized areas like AI or Machine Learning. So in recent times, many of the IITs, including IIC, is offering MTech in both Computer Science and Engineering as well as AI or Machine Learning. And that's why aspirants has kind of confusion among them that what they should choose, whether they should go for their MTech in, in general computer science uh, branch or they should go for this specialized area like AI or machine learning. So once you have cracked your gate exam, once once you, you know that you are eligible for doing MTech from these top IITs and ISC, this is a common confusion that you might have. And I have received a lot of messages uh, in recent past that what I should choose. So that's why in this video, I'll discuss about both the uh, curriculum in detail. I mean, what are there in general computer science, uh, if you're doing MTech in general computer science and what is there in, uh, if you're doing MTech in AI machine learning, what are the opportunities are there, how the structure of the curriculum, specifically in ISC, how it is been, you know, managed both the curriculum that I'm going to discuss. And finally, I, I, I'll, I'll share the pros and cons and I'll, I'll give some tips uh, that why, what you should choose uh, based on what you are you know demanding from this uh, curriculum so if you want to know detail about it please stay tuned uh, till the end of the video and before starting the video as i always say if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a video you get instant notification and please like this video so that my video get more and more reach Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. Before you dive into the details, let's have a brief overview about both the branch Computer Science and Engineering and AI or Machine Learning. Now, Computer Science Engineering is a field which covers a diverse set of topics that comes under computing. And there are three major branch of Computer Science and Engineering or three major pool is there. The first one is Theoretical Computer Science where we deal with the theoretical part of different algorithms and data structure and there are some other areas like cryptography, optimization that comes under theoretical computer science. The second branch is system uh, where we deal with all the topics that is directly related to computer systems. Uh, there are topics like computer architecture, operating system, compiler, database management systems, all of these comes under uh, this umbrella called system. And finally, the third pool is intelligent systems which specifically deal with this artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science and all, where we focus on developing intelligent, intelligent machines, which learns from data, which is trained on the data and perform well in some decision mapping problem. So this is the overall computer science engineering, which covers all of these three pools. But if you comes to AI or machine learning uh, subfield, so it's a subfield of computer science and engineering, which focuses only on this third pool that is intelligent system. So here our focus is only on AI, machine learning, data science and related topics so that we can build intelligent systems which, which can you know, help us to make decisions in different applications. Next coming to the curriculum and one of the major difference between MTech in CSE and MTech in AI is the curriculum that is being offered in different IITs and ISC. In MTech and CSE, you will be covered a wide range of topics that comes under computer science and engineering branch and which will include all the different pools that I have just mentioned, that is theoretical computer science system and intelligence system. And here you have an opportunity to explore all the branch and then you can decide that whichever specialized area you want to work uh, as your as your MTech project and eventually you'll be going to that direction for your job in, in future life. And you can you can do your specialization in any any direction. You can you can work in computer architecture. You can work in computer networks. You can work in cryptography. Even you can work in data science also. On the other hand, if you do your MTech in AI, that will be dedicatedly for different topics that is there in machine learning and AI. Like you can work on natural language processing. You can work on uh, theoretical machine learning optimization. You can work on computer vision. So there are these options is there, but all will be kind of a same un umbrella that is called AI or machine learning. And here you, your choice is that you can go to different roles that is related to machine learning, like machine learning engineer, you can be a, after your MTech, you can be a data scientist or applied scientist in different product based companies. Now, if I give you the ISC perspective where both MTech in CAC and MTech in AI is in offered. So the first point is for MTech in CAC that is being offered from computer science and automation department. Uh, if you have to, you know, take that curriculum, then you have to give gate in computer science branch only. Students only who have given gate in computer science branch and has a very good gate score, 
they are only eligible for doing mtech in cse from computer science and automation department on the other hand if you are from some other branches and has given grade in some other branches like electrical ec and mechanical then you can apply for mtech in ai and you can easily uh, get into that course if you if your uh, get score is really good now coming to the curriculum the structure of the uh, course structure of the curriculum uh, so for csa uh, or for m tech in cse uh, you have to do around 10 to 11 courses you have to credit them and for that you have to fulfill the pool requirement that means you have to take at least two courses from each pool and that is like theoretical computer science you have to take two pool uh, two courses from system you have to take two courses and from ai machine learning you have to take two courses on the other hand if you are doing your mtech from uh, for ai and machine learning then from the very first uh, semester itself all the courses that you'll be taking that is specifically for ai or machine learning you don't need to take courses for other two branches like theoretical computer science or system so, so the course structure for AI and machine learning is dedicatedly for uh, for machine learning uh, perspective and from the second semester onwards you will be taking some advanced level courses like machine learning or like natural language processing, computer vision and all. Next important thing is career perspective and it is one of the most important factor that you need to think uh, before deciding which one you will be choosing MTech in CSE or MTech in AI. And now coming to mtech in cse uh, so after you complete your mtech from computer science engineering branch as i was saying that you have a wide range of job option that is available because in mtech in cse you can go to any direction you can go to theoretical computer science and be a theorist uh, you can go to system and you can be network engineer computer architecture you know system administrator and all uh, you can come to AI machine learning and be data scientist and all and there are other roles also like database management uh, management you can work with uh, you can be a software developer that is a common role that also you can work so if you have done your uh, masters from uh, uh, from computer science engineering branch then you have all these areas available for you uh, to go for uh, as, a, as a career option after your MTech. On the other hand, if you have done your MTech from AI or machine learning, uh, then uh, kind of you are specialized on that particular sub area, like in machine learning, AI, or maybe you can go to some uh, specific topic like natural language processing or computer vision, and 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 so on and so forth. So that's why then you you will have a specialized skill set that is only on AI machine learning, and based on that you will have your job and roles. Like you can go for data scientist, you can go for machine learning engineer in different companies. You can be a applied scientist that is mostly being offered in Amazon. So this kind of offer, this kind of career opportunity will be there for you, which will be specifically. Uh, you know related to AI and machine learning having said that I will say you know specifically in on-campus uh, placement in specific uh, in IITs and ISC there is not much differences uh, even if you have done your MTech, uh, MTech from AI and machine learning you can easily go for a software engineering role uh, so there is no such discrimination is there on campus point of view but yeah in off campus obviously your CV uh, will, will be will be matter and there uh, they will check on which uh, sub area you have done your uh, masters and we have you have done your specialization and based on that uh, a particular role uh, will be offered to you and you will be interviewed for that finally what you should choose whether you should choose mtech in cse or mtech in ai the answer depends on your interest uh, your future goal and career aspirations and what you are expecting from these two curriculum if you are someone who is not sure about your future you don't know which area you are particularly interested in and you want to explore all the areas you want to keep your option open then for you mtech in cse will be a better choice because in mtech in cse the curriculum is designed such a way that you can explore all the pools like theoretical computer science system and alien system and after one year uh, whatever the courses that you have done and whatever the you know knowledge you have gained from each of these pool you you will have a rough idea that which area you are interested in and based on that you can choose your mtech project and you can explore that particular area now from personally i can say that i have done my mtech from computer science and engineering from iic and after one year i was kind of pretty sure that i am i, am, I can i am interested in system and intelligence system but i am not interested in theoretical computer science because i am not comfortable with all the mathematical stuff that they do in theoretical computer science so if you are someone who is not sure about your future uh, mtech in computer science and engineering will be better suit for you 
Now, on the other hand, if you're someone who is very passionate about data science, machine learning, who know that, you know, you want to do your uh, kind of MTech or after that you want to work in uh, machine learning and AI domain, become a data scientist. For them, I think MTech in AI will be better suit for you because MTech in AI is designed such a way that your all the courses will be uh, focused on AI and machine learning related stuff like natural language processing, computer vision, this specific specialized uh, skill set that will be developed and you can work on several cutting edge technologies um, related to AI and machine learning during your course uh, during your course curriculum. So that's why if you are sure about uh, AI and machine learning and you know that you want to pursue your career in that direction, MTech in AI will be a better suit for you. From the career's perspective, as I said, that both the curriculum is kind of equivalent. In both uh, MTech in CAC and MTech in AI, there are ample job opportunities will be there uh, in IITs and ISC. And there will be no risk that if you do your master's from CAC, you won't get any job. And if you do your uh, master's from AI only, you'll be getting job. So that confusion or that kind of thing is not there ample job or job which is there for both the things only based on your interest your future goal you have to choose which one you want to join that's it guys that's it about this video i hope this video will be helpful for all the aspirants who are thinking of joining uh, different iits and isc in mtech in cac or ai uh, in this year and i hope i have clarified all of your doubts related to mtech in cac and ai if you have any further questions please uh, you know write me in the comment section and i'll try to answer them there and if needed, you know, any specific topic you want to make me another video that also you can uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to make one. And if you found this video really helpful, please like this video and share this video to other people. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you will get instant notification. That's it about this video. I will be meeting in the next video. Until then, bye.